With just hearing Nadia Coglin say it could be the marvellous Northern Campaign's last show, it was a super test, heavens above. Um, I sincerely hope it's not his last test. He's in great form, he looks wonderful. Um, age is so dependent on the individual. Um, he, he's in, and a super, more or less mistake-free test. So difficult with the problems with the music. We may, Nadia's just told us, have seen his last Grand Prix start. On the plane, and then I watched, I was watching it back, but then I ended up taping over the whole thing by accident, so, oops. But no, he's been awesome, he's been to Pony Club, he's been to Germany, he's won an Australian Championship at Grand Prix, he's cool, he's awesome. Thank you, Nadia. We hope we see you again soon. Nadia Coggan receiving a, a big uh, round of applause. Real warmth there. I think it's really Great awesome test, well showing well her well highlights in Piaf and also in the one-time changes. Doing a superb job. The next horse in the arena is Rambo, number 2406. And Stephanie next Spencer, into the arena, Stephanie Spencer and Rambo. Rambo, um, really enjoying competing with Stephanie. I ran into and met for the first time Stephanie's mother a little earlier. She said how absolutely tremendous it was. Rob Hanna came to warm Stephanie up uh, yesterday for the Grand Prix and I saw him here a little earlier. I must confess, I saw him standing at the side of the arena and, and he looked so much like a very professional senior trainer. I, I thought, who on earth has been brought out to Australia to warm this horse up? And I, I thought, what trainers do I know with that sort of coloured, sort of uh, slightly greyish hair? And I had a few ideas. I'd never for the, in the world thought it could have been Rob Hanna. But sure enough, there was Rob on the side of the arena. Perhaps we're, we're seeing a new trainer in the mar making. Stephanie told me he, he was pretty good uh, warming her up and she really appreciated him him coming. She said it sounded just like um, the advice she would have received from Mary and it, it really helped her. So perhaps we have a, a new trainer on the horizon there with Rob Hanna. Rambo was imported into Australia by Mary and Rob. Um, Stephanie's been working at their, their farm um, and I feel she's incredibly lucky to have this Fleming gelding uh, by Fleming out of a high line mare. So down centre line, Rambo and Stephanie Spencer from West Australia training here in Australia. So beautifully to the music, wonderful square hold, great job. Rambo born in 98, Dutch 17 hand gelding. Nicely in the trot. Extended trot. Um, and now back to the passage. Lovely passage. Rambo has a highlight in the Piaf, but very nice passage there and very even behind. He does lower the quarters and out into the passage. Beautifully to the music. And the transition to canter with the music. Canter half past left. Had a pirouette to the right, so getting a little stuck behind and in the end unfortunately losing the, the canter lead, so costly mistake, very difficult the half pass, the, piru the change, the pirouette and back with the ones, the ones very nicely performed. Rambo perhaps a little tight. <laughs> We'd like to see a little more roundness over the top line, a little more energy and jump from behind. Transition now to the collected walk.
with the music. Stephanie doing a great job writing to the music. Now the extended walk. Working to activate the hind legs in the extended walk. Extended walk being long steps but active steps and the transition once more to canter. The reverse movement perhaps now, we earlier saw the passage into a left canter half pass, this time the extended walk into a right canter half pass with a flying change, then a straight line, then the canter pirouette and perhaps back with we saw one-time changes after the right pirouette, this time maintaining the left canter pirouette, needing a little more jump, yes, two-time changes, and nicely to the music. So Stephanie doing a great job with her choreography, interpreting the music, good use of percussion, the bells earlier, to highlight the footfalls. When it comes off, of course, works really well, but um, a little bit of a risk if you can't ride to it, it's also all too obvious. So a tiny mistake in the one-time changes, not quite through in one of the earlier changes. Transition once more, back to the passage, and the passage looking very good earlier in the test, better, I would say, than the Grand Prix yesterday. So nicely done. Now the Piaf, a little bit could be more even perhaps with the steps behind and a little more level, more equal weight. And transition achieved in and out and back to the passage. And the extended trot. Extended trot to passage. Stephanie doing a good job utilizing the strength from behind. Passage half pass. Trying to keep him fairly parallel. Ah, passage half pass to trot half pass. Passage half pass right to trot half pass left. So increasing the difficulty here with this movement. Rambo really focusing with our photographer Christian Filipino's wonderful uh, coverage. We, we really get to see. Uh, uh, very up close, uh, the look on this wonderful horse's face. Could be a little more regular in the half pass, just a little more strength. Not really a problem, but, and the reverse, the trot half pass right into the passage half pass. You could hear the slowing of the music, maybe 80 beats a minute down to 60 beats a minute. So she, uh, uh, to the left was passage half pass, the trot half pass to the right, starting with the trot half pass and then passage half pass. Well done. Of course, we saw Ulla Salzgeber uh, do this, the, these transitions so well with Rusty. So, super Piaf again, and into a Piaf pirouette, trying to keep it centered. Ah, I personally think it's a difficult movement. That's my take on it. There's, there's discussion. And I think the difficulty is in the precision to keep it as a pirouette around the hind leg and the halt. Well done to Steph Spencer and Rambo. And again, a pretty super piaf there <laughs> to finish. <laughs> Steph Spencer representing West Australia. Um, spending her time training here in Victoria, doing a great job.